Hey guys, welcome to the SC25 Manchester City series finale here, in which we're going to try and win a treble in today's episode. We've we already won the Carabao Cup, we've won the Premier League, we're going to try and win the, the FA Cup and the Champions League in this episode. So we've got two finals to get into. The first one here up against West Ham uh, at Wembley. Obviously, last time we went to Wembley, we won against, um, who was it in the Carabao Cup? We're not too sure. But we did win that in the previous episodes, and we also won the Community Shield at the start of the season. So we're pretty successful at Wembley. We've got to get into this game, though, of our usual 11. It's been a couple of days since I've played this chroma because I've been ill. That's why content's been a little bit slow the past couple of days because I'm still ill. I should probably can tell by my voice. So we're going to go with our home kit as usual. And after this, um, we're all going to be doing a Manchester United chroma, by the way. And I think for that like, seriously, I'm going to uh, um, fire Ten Hag and make myself the manager because it looks like Ten Hag is on the brink of being fired, most likely IRL. And I think I'd just do a much better job than Ten Hag in Kremlin anyway. But let's get into this one up against West Ham here at the Wembley Stadium. Obviously in London, so they've got the home advantage technically. Let's get into this one and hopefully win the FA Cup. All right, and there it is, the prestigious trophy, the FA Cup that we're going to try and win here at Wembley. If you're going to enjoy this, so drop a like and video, subscribe to the channel and to notifications so you don't miss any videos. You can see that's what we got to the final. They won their game in the semi-final. We beat Newcastle. I think they faced Spurs in the semi-final, so that's who they beat to get here. We're going to check out their team here in a second. Obviously, as you can see, Nicholas Fulkrug has uh, started in from Dortmund as a player to watch apparently three goals in the last three games for him, the German striker. They also have Fulkrug. They've got a bunch of great signers. They've signed Luckman. They've also signed, I believe, Karim Adeyemi in the series. And that trophy is what we're going to try and win here. Let's cut to you. Well, let's check out their team when it goes to show us here. As you can see, they've got lots of uh, sweet shit. They've got Fabianski in goal. They've got a pretty good team. And you know what? Let's get straight into the game. We'll find it out as we play and hopefully come out the victors here in the FA Cup final. And for us in midfield, down to Savinio, who's had a great season out on the wing. It was a little bit slow at one point in the series to get going, but Savinio here started the game here. Chavada shot from him, denied by Fabianski and cleared there from their defender. Rico Lewis steps in, no. Rodri, that's when I played, uh, uh, played West End. They gave us a lot of room to work with, and that didn't work against him in the end. Foden hits it here, and Fabianski missed another great save. As you can see, in the field, for some reason, West End just dropped back so deep and give you so much space when you play against them. So we're going to make that, we're going to make them pay here. We're going to have a maybe here who hits it. That's going to be a corner. Three quick saves for Fabianski in this one. It bounced off him there. Karamadiemi goes long here. They're clearly playing long ball or just smash and grab type football. Nicholas Fulkrug. Here's Shivali Oldo. So they have the pace with Kudos and Karamadiemi. You also have Luckman on the bench. But they've gone with Fulkrug because he's in form apparently. But here's Phil Foden and Foden. Cuts away from one defender. Foden can hit the shot. Foden does so. That's a great goal there for the Englishman. Who makes it 1-0 here. He strikes the putters in the lead in the FA Cup final. West Ham, for some reason, the way they're set up, they're so easy to beat. They just give you all the room you need to cook them, to create a chance. You can, you've already seen in this game, we've had four or five attacks already that we've had a shot from. I can see Harden there, does well to move out of the way. Now, Foden hits it, bottom left-hand corner of the goal. No save in that for the, for the West Ham shot stopper, Fabianski. And he makes it 1-0 here, skips one defender, makes him lose his foot in and gets a great finish off there to make it 1-0. De Bruyne to Foden. Foden now finesse shot here for Phil Foden. He's got it in his locker and he's scored one there. That is classic Phil Foden. Cutting inside and wrapping that. He usually goes near post in the bottom corner, but he can put them far post as well in the top-hand corner. And he's done so there. Oh, see, we're just making West Ham pay. They're not pressing. They really ain't. They're just giving Foden and De Bruyne such a room to look for a pass, to look for a shot. It's a great shot there from the Englishman to make it 2-0 uh, here, sorry. And Graham put himself on a brace and on track for a hat-trick in this game. But we'll watch that again. It's a great shot there from Foden and that is classic Phil Foden. He has caught a Silas on for them instead of their young player who does sort of, it must have been good in this uh, competition so they gave him a chance but it's not worked out for him. But Alda Silva hits it, blocked by the Portuguese left-back Mario Rui from Napoli. Ball in by De Bruyne. Ruben Diaz could win a header. He does so, but doesn't really get anything ready on it. It's just bats it around here and it's cleared by West Ham in the end. Kudos gives it away to Rodri. De Bruyne now draws it into Savinio. Savinio, uh, Savinio blocked and that's going to be a corner to uh, Suchek. Back here to the German Adiemi out wide here to the Portuguese fullback. Just done well, whips it in, looking for Kudos. Kudos hits it and he puts it wide to the post. No bit of danger showing there by West Ham. Showing they can do something in this game when they go forward. Rodri through the centre here to De Bruyne. De Bruyne into Haaland. Haaland 
Savinio, Savinio back into Holland here to make it free. Holland denied by Fabianski. Rico Lewis as well there. He actually wins a free kick there somehow. Might have been handballed against Adiemi. Just before half time here. Over the top. Foden to Bernardo Silva denied, and that's going to be almost a lone goal there from Tadebo. I think it was. I can get him. Body to the box, looking for full Krug, and there is Ruben Diaz denying two for my Dortmund players to get the ball to each other. And Rico Lewis, they can carry it forward. Rico Lewis now in here to Holland. Holland over the top, Foden for the hat trick, take a touch, and then find a finish there. Oh, he didn't connect with it. Oh, so I'd have done if I was the West Ham manager. De Bruyne, Savinho, oh, I looked up from the Brazilian Savinho now. Oh, it's cut to West Ham, but Fabianski bails him out. Holland, De Bruyne, Holland fixes it up. Power shot denied by Fabianski again. No, Savinho plays it across to Giovanni. Uh, not Giovanni, but not a silver. Sorry, fortunately, uh, Giovanni would have made the run there. But you know, Rodri, why not? Rodri hits it, blocked there by Suchet. No handball. De Bruyne hit it. De Bruyne blocks low. De Bruyne second time. Fabianski's lucky he got back up low because that would have been a, a simple finish there for the Belgian. Video to float it in. Not to sure it's gone to Bernardo Silva there, but interesting player to put in the centre there. Bernardo now over here to Erling Haaland. Haaland. Savinio, lovely play here. Bernardo Silva now shifts it and back again. Looking for a bit of room here to find full photo for the hat trick. There we go. 75 minutes in here. West Ham just haven't turned up to this game. Lopetegui, the manager, it hasn't worked out for him in this game. Like It hasn't worked out for him IRL with West Ham this season. They've got a great team, West Ham, but they're not doing much in the league. Like people thought they were, uh, unlike people thought they, they, they would do. With players like Kudus Paqueta and obviously Full Krug signing and some great players. But Foden gets a hat-trick here in an FA Cup final. Great performance for the Englishman who's dominated this game. And we look like we're going to go into great form. Our next game is up against Bournemouth in the Prem to get the Premier League title celebrations. And after that, we go into the, in the Champions League final up against Atalanta. And you'll to see it here. A dominating win in the FA Cup final to add to our trophy cabinet and our trophy collection this season so far. Here's Luke, man, who came on. Hadn't, hasn't done anything in this game. And he's given the ball away. But we did the same. Surely not. Full Krug. Edison could say, oh, it's going to, uh, of course, it goes back to look near, man. Of course, the clean sheet's gone as a second I go 3 0 up, and it's something like that, man. Of course, it is. Of course, it is. But the game should be over here. Two more minutes to play. I've had a time, and the game should be all over here with a 3 1 score and being the final whistle. There we go. I should say the final score, to be honest. But there we go. The final score is 3 1. We win the FA Cup. Not much of a challenge. The clean sheet being taken away from us is a little bit annoying, to be honest, because obviously. We deserve to keep a clean sheet and let's cut to the title celebrations to speed up this process a little bit faster. And here we are, the trophy lift here. De Bruyne gets to lift another trophy as Premier League captain, or the Man City captain, I should say. And it's going to get to lift the Premier League title in our next game against Bournemouth. We're going to play that one as the final home game of the season. We should get the trophy lift in that game. We're, we're 20 points currently in the lead, by the way. So the lead title has been wrapped up a long, long time ago. But De Bruyne lifts it here. Love to see it. Rico Lewis gets a trophy here as well, another one to his collection in his young career and what a performance by the team and West Ham, I'm not, just, not too sure how they made it to the final because they did not take part in this final, let's get into the final game of the Premier League season up against Bournemouth and that should be a pretty straightforward one, then into the Champions League final up against Atalanta Alright, so for the final home game of the season up against Bournemouth here, we're going to get the uh, Premier League trophy celebra celebrations after this game if not, I might just cut this whole out of the episode and just go into the, uh, into the Champions League final, if you see this then we did get the trophy celebrations. If not, we'll go straight into the FA Cup. The FA Cup, the Champions League final. But I guess we're going to rotate this team slightly here. We're going to stop Benjamin Seshko, Adam Vrella and Hartman. Three players we've not really seen much. We've seen more of Seshko than Hartman and Vrella. But I wanted to give them a, a chance in this game to get some game time. It might have been a rebuild. Was it a rebuild or a crumb? I'm not too sure. But Lewis Cook here. Bournemouth are doing nothing with the ball here. They've done more than West Ham did with the ball, to be fair. But Seshko could have had that there. But he's gives it away to Foden. Foden to feed it through to Benjamin Seshko. Can he get a goal here? Seshko to score. To make it 1-0 and it's done so. And make Bournemouth pay for the mistake. And Seshko has started the game ahead of Haaland for this one. Just to give him some game time and some uh, time to shine in this series. We're going to probably use him again in the future. 
I might do a Leipzig series at some point because they've got a great team this year. But I'm not too sure about that. I might do one. I'm not too sure because they've got some great players. But Sesko here scores it to make it 1-0. And you would love to see it. There goes Clive here. Ball through though. Not too sure why there's so much room in behind for Bournemouth here. Poor chip there from Clive. He should have just taken a touch there and then gone for it possibly there. But Kanji was right there thankfully for me. Nunes. Sesko to Savinio. A Brazilian. Back over the top to Sesko. Can he grab his second here, but that defender's there again against Rico Lewis. Could have started Kyle Walker for this game, but I've liked, I've liked using Rico Lewis in this series. He's been he's actually a very good player in this game. I actually prefer him over Kyle Walker, to be honest. But ball into the box to Evan Nilsson, who is on the side in this 1-1. In this game, it will be kind of like because we haven't started Rodri. To Vanier, ball into the box looking for Evan Nilsson. A Kanji blocks it, falls back to him somehow, and Edison thankfully collects that. But luckily, Evan Nilsson was offside anyway there. Not too sure how the clearance didn't work in our favour there, but somehow we almost gave another chance to them, but luckily it was offside. Hartman to Savinio. Savinio now. Slash goes almost going to be Mott there, so we can go inside here. Savinio now. Calls the defender over. Sashko is onside and is scored there as well. A great finish there from him to make it 2 1. Like I said, a player that, if we didn't have Holland, would have been a bigger player in this series. Obviously, Kyogo off the bench has been the main guy that we used. He was just a agility and different, a different play style than Holland. Obviously, Sesko is much more like Holland than Kyogo is, being tall with pace and physicality, and Kyogo is shorter with pace and agility. But Sesko here got a second goal here, and you he to see it's a great goal as well. Great turn there, good run being on side, and had a great finish there to match. Yeah, Bournemouth just passing it around here. They've had a possession in this game. We've been more like West Ham, but obviously with some goal for it. We just kind of sat back. That's a risky pass there to find Varela here, but we, uh, it worked out. I knew I had a player to do it there. Nunez looked to play from him. He's been great in the series, by the way, Nunez. Hartman forward here to Savinio. Savinio. Sashko can't get there. The defender gets it before him. Whether that defender is, he's played great. Plays it across to Evan Nilsson. That's poor defender from me. And it's 2-2. Two -two. It's level here. I kind of wanted to win this game, so we um, became Centurions in this game, but... So we might be on track for a draw, unless we can get a goal here. Savinio over the top looking for Seshko. That isn't the angle I played to pass that, but the game's working against me now. De Bruyne, you know, games like this uh, bring out big performances from players like Nunes, and that's a good shot there, but it's wide of the post. Let's bring on Bernardo Silva, just to see out the game. Let's bring on Rodri as well for Rada, who's played great to be fair for Rada. And also, let's bring on Doku for Savinio. And honestly, we'll bring on Kyogo. Kyogo in a game like this, a big goal from him itself for that. But that's a great shot there for Nunes, just wide to the post, unfortunately for him. Another silver wins ahead of just about. De Bruyne, Foden, speaking of, super sub Kyogo. Here he is, Kyogo. There he is again. Kyogo, the super sub of dreams. He's done that so many times in this series. The Japanese star strikes again. I was going to change his kit number from uh, number 13 that people consider. Is it unlucky or lucky? I can't remember if it's lucky or unlucky. But either way, it's lucky for that man, Kyogo, who grabs the goal again here. And a put on goal for us to give us a lead. And that goal right there could have made the Centurions again. Edison over the top. Looking for Rico Lewis now. Rico Lewis. I don't know what we're doing. I said not give away any stupid chances. And I, Okay, how is... Okay, if they score here. Okay, thank you, Edison. Semenyo to Maffeo. Last chance here for Bournemouth in this game to grab a draw. It could be big for them in their season, to be honest. It could be in between a few spaces, but that's going to be the win sealed under three points for Man City here. Kyogo, the super sub, strikes again. And Holland won't be in the title celebrations in the front foot, but it will be in there. And it's cut to the Premier League title celebrations if we do have them. If not, then we are going to get them. And then we're going to get into the, into the Champions League final after the trophy lift here in the Premier League. And here we are, the second trophy lift in a row here. Obviously, we uh, we come to insurance with this win here. We scored three goals that puts us a 99 goal score this season, I believe. And a great performance from the team, to be fair. Bournemouth played great, but Man City are Premier League champions once again. That's something that people don't like to hear, but as a Man City fan, I love to hear it. And obviously, as viewers of this series, you guys probably love to hear it as well. But the Bruyne here listed of a trophy. A great goal from Kyogo, sealed us the win. 
and uh, well, we're we'll guaranteed probably champions anyway. The win, lose, the draw here tonight, and let's get into the Champions League final and hopefully lift that trophy as well with De Bruyne as captain once again. All right, so here by the Champions League final up against the team that I showed you last episode, knocked out by Leverkusen, denying them of European glory once again here at Atlanta. And so we're going to start Docker win this game just because we use Savinia quite a lot. Obviously, we want to give Docker a game as well. He's been great for us in the series. All three wingers. We're not really seeing Greenish, to be fair. On the left hand side, we're not really used Greenish because Docker and Savinio have been incredible and Foden on the right side of the team has been irreplaceable in the team. Let's get into this one up against uh, Atlanta here and hopefully come out the victors of the Champions League once again. Right, Giovanni all back in the team. Uh, Haaland here into Doku. Where are you on here? Doku, the Belgian. Can he get a goal? That's good defending from Kasuna, the man they signed from uh, by Leverkusen. The man who they uh, completely forgot. They did beat by Leverkusen and they signed him from them. So it was kind of like still one of the be uh, better players as well. But Charles de Ketelar forward here to Angle Crea. Back here to Edison, a player that's been linked to Man City recently. We could have two Edisons in the same team. Ball forward here to Stanislav de Botka, who's shot. Is less said to be forgotten about for his sake which you've already here into Jeremy Doku Doku now forward here to Haaland here they're playing a free at the back here Haaland can he get in behind here Haaland can he beat the defender Haaland does so Haaland shoots to beat the Italian goal and it's done so Konezeki or Korne uh, Korneshi how you pronounce his name has been beaten there the Italian wonder kid in goal has been beaten by the Norwegian goal scorer and Viking and undeniable force in Erling Haaland here Great, uh, great run there to, def def uh, to beat the defender there in Romagnoli, I think it is, the former Roma and AC Milan defender. Maybe, did he, who else did he play for? I think that might be it. But he scores it to make it 1-0 in the Champions League final. It's a great start for us in this one. Play his career needs to be revived, so that's something we've got possibly to win this uh, in SC25. But Correa here, can he make it 1-1? Edison could save. To deny him getting back level straight away. Got to win a header, Edison doesn't do so, and... Angle Chris could be on side, ain't it? A good save again from Edison. We need to just calm down here. We need to just get the ball out and gain composure of this game again. That was two quick scares from Atalanta. We should have done better in both situations, but uh, Bernardo Silva. Holland, back to Bernardo Silva here. He doesn't have the pace to break away, but he's actually going to get there ahead of Romagnoli and can he get the shot away at spot by the Italian, though, in the end? And the bot cut. Good defender from Ruben Diaz there against him, though, and now De Bruyne. Gotta wait for the run over the top. Looking for Erling Haaland. Not so sure why the through ball plus didn't work there, but Haaland puts it wide. There's a Pasalic now. In here to Charles de Ketelar, the Belgian running through. And he makes it to 1-0 uh, to, uh, no here, sorry. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Charles de Ketelar, the Belgian strikes. And he's just stood in the goal weirdly, but it's a good bad play from Atalanta there. Poor defending from me. I, didn't, I just couldn't really press because uh, I just knew the second I press, I was going to get beaten. But Charles de Ketelar scores. To put them back level in this final. De Bruyne. Back to Haaland. Haaland. Doku. Doku. Saying anything you can do to De Ketelar. He's going to do almost better there. De Ketelar. Back to the Italian. And there's good defender from Giovanni although. A Kanji here, a Kanji now can take it down, play it into De Bruyne, De Bruyne, and our forward here into, into Bernardo Silva over uh, through the middle here to Erling Haaland. He's beat the Italian once again. Can he beat the other Italian in goal again? Yes, he does. Just before the break, Haaland makes it 2 1. A great, uh, great ball through, a great defender from Chavalli to begin the chance anyway. Then the ball to a Kanji into Bernardo Silva and through into Erling Haaland. Simple football at his best, but Haaland this time doesn't put it wider than by the keeper. It makes it 2-1 before the break. It was to see it. Ango Crea. It's the mode here. Correa now. Ruben Diaz is in there. Suck at the border. Good save from Edison. And Giovanni Oh, does well to get there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you, Akanji. Let's just stay composed. Let's just, get, let's just hold up and get the ball. There we go. Rico Lewis now. Looking for Haaland. He's on for a hat-trick in this game. Haaland. Need some help here, Holland over the top, looking for De Bruyne. De Bruyne heads it over. It's actually been on the silver, heads it down to Foden. And that's 3-1. An hour into the game, we take a two-goal lead. And you look to see it. That's a great header there from Bernardo Silva, by the way. I thought it was going to be De Bruyne in that spot, running forward. But Bernardo Silva made the run and won the header to get it to Phil Foden to put his two goals in the lead. You look to see it. Atalanta done well in this game. Obviously, Edison's made some great saves. We've done some good defending at times. But Foden here 
and the half volley here makes it 2-1, uh, 3-1, sorry, you look to see and put, puts us two goals in the lead. It's going to be Giovanni to win. He's going to hit that with, Ed, with, uh, with Rodri there, but putting the pressure there by Rodri, not Rodri, with uh, Edison. Bernardo, oh, lovely play there. Uh, got to score, Haaland. There we go, there's the hat trick. And this game is dead and buried at this point. Atalanta played well. It deserved to be here, but the scoreline deserves to be the scoreline. As we have been a supper with a season. We didn't lose the game in the Premier League all season long, I don't think. Did we lose the game? I'm not too sure. But ball over the top here. Oh, yeah, we did lose to Crystal Palace, right? I think we lost the game. I'm not too sure. I swear we lost to Crystal Palace at the start of the series. Yeah, we did, if I'm not mistaken. But Haaland here, that doesn't matter at this point. Haaland here makes it 4-1. And this trophy is once again ours. And Haaland goes a hat-trick in the biggest cup competition of the ball. Here goes Angle Kre. Back into Lobotka, into Pasalic. That's good defender from Ruben Diaz, though. But Angle Kre is in there somehow. Pasalic plays it through, but there's a Kanji that from him. And Edison now, ball forward here, looking for Haaland. Haaland heads it down. Bernardo Silva does well there. Bernardo Silva now through to Doku here. Doku's getting himself a goal here. It's deserved one here. Doku denied by the Italian. But he gets to the second attempt and makes it 5-1. A dive in headed there from the Belgian after the save from Konezeki or Koneshi their first time round. They still need to know how to pronounce his name. It, there's two pronunciations I can think of, but I'm not so sure which one is. So I've heard both of them by a, a good amount of people. But Doki here scores. He's played great in this final, to be fair. Savinio, the Poznan's been brought out. Savinio would have played great as well, but I thought we're going to give Doku the game. He deserves to play one of these games in this game, win this episode. But he gets to the second attempt, dives in, heads it goalwards. And miss it 5-1 here. And this game deserves to be ours. And the scoreline flatters us a little bit. Atalanta did give us a couple of scares, especially early on in the game. If it wasn't for some good goalkeeper from our goalkeeper, Edison, they possibly could have won this game. But in the end, our quality shines through. And the scoreline reflects that. Have a consolation goal maybe for themselves. No, Akanji's there to just cut it out at the source. Ball in. Harden, can he win that? Harden does so. Doku, referee don't blow the whistle. It's going to be 6-1 here, possibly. Doku... He tracked down here by Kasunu. Erling Haaland, can he make it? Another goal here. Corner she wins the uh, win, win, uh, makes the save. Sorry, it's going to be a corner here. Last chance of the game here. De Bruyne her in. We couldn't win anything there. Zanio heads it out. And that should be the end of the game there. Yes, it is. It's a 5 1 win here in the Champions League final. You'd love to see it. I win every single trophy we had on the line in this series the Community Shield, the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, the Premier League, and. The Champions League to wrap it all up. As you can see, not sure as the Catalan scored twice when he didn't. Obviously, off to Holland scored like four, uh, three goals. As sure as the Catalan scored again when he didn't do so. But it's a 5 1 win here. My voice is giving way, so I'm, so I'm gonna hopefully gonna have to I'm probably gonna have to rest after recording this part of the video. Not too sure. But win the Champions League final here. Let's see it. We're gonna get to the trophy lifted. Brian gets to lift another trophy in the series. Just as the cough there, so I'll probably cut it there. But as you can see here, the Bruyne lifts. The trophy, look to see it. Well, he's going to step up to lift the trophy again here. The blue and white ribbons on the Champions League title once again. We're going to get into a Man United series after this one's just been requested on the channel. See, Man United are a team that are in need of saving with Eric Ten Hag at the helm. isn't working out for them right now. I'm going to step in as manager instead of Ten Hag in that series and do my best to save Man United. But as a Man City fan, this is what I want to see Man City at the top of world football once again. And let's get into the stats of the players this season to show you how they all performed. All right, so here we're at the end of our first series here. Nestle 25, and there's a team that have done well, won five trophies in one series, which is mental to say. We'll see what the players we do have that is possible. Holland, Ferd, and Savinio, everyone in the team played incredible. And our defenders as well. Rico Lewis was incredible by the way in the team. He was so good. And I didn't even worry about having Kyle Walker. Like, I, didn't, I didn't even think about him most of the time in this series because Rico Lewis was unbelievable in this uh, team. I'm going to show you the uh, stats of the players. As you see by the stats, this team did numbers this season alongside winning trophies. So as you see by the stats here, go to the goals and assist uh, chart here. Going to have to back out because I think it glitched. I'm not too sure what happened there. But we're going to back to, uh, back to the stats. I'm going to go to... Yeah, what am I at? There we go. We're going to get to the goals tally. There we go. It's 32 and 5 for Haaland. Incredible from him. Seshko with 23 and 0 assists. But Phil Foden with 19 goals and 16 assists. He had an unbelievable season. Considering at one point, at the start of the series, I was kind of worried about Foden. 
not getting involved in the team. Like, he didn't really do much in the first in the first episode, but after that, he just get he just started going. And I can see Doki with 15 and 4, Savinio 11 goals and 16 assists. Unbelievable for him. Mateus Nunes as well, 11 and 14. Some great uh, stats there from the players. Bernardo Silva, 8 and 13. Kyogo, 7 goals in 7 games. And this man was a super sub to be... He was, he was the definition of a super sub. Every time we brought him on, he scored a goal and a big goal like that. He loved to see it. And De Bruyne with 8 and 10. Love to see that from him. But yeah, let's got to call it for the Man City Chromed here. On this 25, I see one season will run everything there is to win. You'd love to see it. And next crumbed is going to be with Man United because obviously they are um, a team that need to be need to be saved. I should see about players. That's there. That's who was top scorer. Obviously, we didn't have a player in there because we didn't play all the games. Yeah, we're going to get into our Man United series next. I'm going to take over the manager job from Tin Hog. Most likely, be going to enjoy the series. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to notifications to don't miss videos. Check out the full series playlist you can see on your screen right now. And also, check out the Ultimate Team content I make on the channel doing the series around the media mal in Ultimate Team. So check it out one out if you're interested in it. And that's going to call it for this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.